Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be replacing a dead battery on my 2016 uh, BMW motorcycle. This is an S1000XR and uh, the battery died and uh, rarely works anymore. So I did some research and found out that this lithium ion one is uh, seems to be one of the best replacement options for this bike. Here's the owner's manual that comes with it, lists some nice features over here. First step is gonna to be to remove the old battery. It is under the seat, so in this car, you're gonna need your key here, as you probably know. That will undo the little latch in the back. You can raise this up and take your seat off. And here we have our stock battery down here. I probably have a lot more wiring than you have on yours. I have a uh, wire cables for a battery tender and also for a heated gear plug that I have installed previously uh, right down here. So they both come down there. Um, but uh, first I'm gonna go ahead and remove this little bracket here that holds it into place. This is a Torx bit, it looks like this. It is size T30. Just remove this and that bracket will come right off. Now you just have to disconnect the two terminals. You always want to disconnect the negative side first. So this is the negative side. The red is the positive side. Battery terminals are normally 10 millimeter sockets and this is no exception. Now one thing you might have a problem with is uh, getting the wrench down there, but since this is loose, we should be able to uh, rotate it up. Yep, we can move this battery, rotate it so that you can get to it. All right, just loosened it and removed it. So all of these connectors on the top uh, have come off and you can see there's the terminal there. And I wanna move that out of the way and make sure it does not come into contact with the uh, terminal of the battery again. All right, once it's disconnected, we're just going to uh, take this out and set it over here. All right, so I just want to compare these two batteries. So my new lithium one is not only much lighter, but it's also a little smaller. It's not quite as wide and it is not as deep as our stock battery. So that should not be a problem. I'm just going to go ahead and drop this one back in. There's a little bit of this uh, protective film that I'm going to scrape off and remove. It's got a little protective cap on our positive side. Now, since I'm gonna attach our positive side first and then the negative side, I'm just gonna temporarily put that on the negative so that uh, we don't have anything contacting that while we're putting our positive on. And this guy has a little on off button. So I'm going to uh, press and hold this in and it will show us our current voltage. So that is nice and fully charged. The instructions do say to check the voltage and if it is below 12.8 volts to uh, actually charge it further. We've removed this. Now we're going to uh, reinstall. So this points out in the box, it came with some um, foam spacers. So you can go ahead and uh, put some of those spacers behind the battery so that it kind of raises it up a little bit to be, to mock kind of the similar size of the other battery. So all these foam spacers are not just for uh, packing, but they are to be used in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick one of these back here on the back. So I got a foam in place down there. I'm gonna put the battery back on top of that under the wiring. Actually went ahead and put two uh, foam pieces underneath it and then I'm just going to go ahead and take two of these small ones and slide them in here on the side. I do have uh, sticky tape on them or you could stick them together or whatever but it's not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to place them in there like that and tuck two more on this side. Even though in the bag it came with uh, new hardware for the battery, I'm just going to go ahead and use the original uh, screws from the other one. It's the same size, same fit, and we're going to reattach the positive side first. Alright, that guy's on nice and tight. And go ahead and remove the uh, protective cap for the negative terminal. Alright, I'm just going to remove the protective cap there. 
and uh, put all of our wiring back through our negative terminal and reattach that. All right, easy, everything here is back together. Now you can go ahead and put this bracket back on. And uh, there are different lengths in the uh, slotted area here so that you can have different heights of batteries. And now we're maxing this out all the way down. There we go, we have a new battery installed. Go ahead and test it out. Oh, there we go, full power and should be enough juice to start it. So let me throw this guy into neutral. Right. You can tell I haven't started it in a while. Now one thing I wanna point out is now you need to make sure that you're using a charger that can be used on lithium ion batteries instead of just a normal battery tender perhaps. So I have uh, this one, it's a C-Tech one, this one happens to be a BMW branded one, but all the C-Tech ones are uh, like this that have the lithium. So I'll put a link to this in the description of this video if you want to pick one up off of Amazon. So it has a lithium ion both for cars and for bikes. So you switch it in that mode to charge it. All right, that's it guys. Hope it was helpful. If it was, I hope you're subscribed to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video.